Hi, I'm Bill, a librarian in the Information Services Department at Gorgas Library. Today I'd like to tell you how to access the wireless network in university libraries and all over campus by registering your computer or electronic device. First, let's ensure that our wireless antenna is enabled. So on a Windows 7 machine, what you're first going to do is go down to the Start menu, and then you're going to click uh, on the Control Panel. From there, we are going to select Network and Internet. And now click on Connect to a Network, which you'll see right up there. All right, now in the bottom right corner, uh, you'll see this pop up as soon as you click on Connect to a Network. UA Public Wireless is the one that we want to uh, log into. Now, note what happens right as I click on it, which you'll see it right here. So what this means is don't go to any websites that you would only go to if you were on your home internet connection. So we click Connect. This window pops up right here that says Connecting to Wireless Network and we can only assume that we have connected. But to check this, in the bottom right hand corner, wait for the exclamation point to pop up and then click on that uh, little bar thing. And you'll see we have limited access to the wireless network right now. Well, what does that mean? Uh, to show, I'll go back to my browser here and, and hit refresh. I was connected to the internet and now I'm uh, on the wireless, but it's saying that I have to register my computer. So now I'm going to take a second to show how Mac users can get to this point. From here on, it's pretty uniform what we do. So uh, here we go with how a Mac would hop onto the wireless network. Now we'll set up the wireless connection on our MacBook. First, we need to ensure that our wireless is antenna is on. Click on the Apple in the top left corner and select System Preferences. This window will pop up from the middle grouping uh, called Internet and Wireless, select Network. This new window will pop up. This is a desktop computer we're looking at, so the wireless has been disabled. On your own MacBook, you should have an option entitled Airport. This is your wireless antenna. Just make sure that it's there. Usually MacBooks have their wireless antennas set up as soon as you take them out of the box. They're set up in the factory. So now we're going to look at a laptop screen to show how it, your, your screen should look. This menu found in the top right is your wireless option. Click on, on it and you'll see the wireless networks available to you. This laptop is already connected to the wireless as the check mark indicates, but it may not be connected to the internet because it may not be registered to UA. Now I'm going to pop back to my Windows machine and show you how to register your computer. As I said earlier, this part is the same regardless of operating system. Uh, regard so Mac, OS X, and Windows 7, you're going to come to this. Um, so first, open up a browser like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Internet Explorer and type in a web address. This could be anything like the University Library's homepage, which is lib.ua.edu, or google.com. You'll come to this page, which asks you to log in with your MyBama username and password. Password. Enter this information and click continue as I've just done. Now you'll see the terms of use. It's a quick read and has some fairly obvious and common sense requests. When you're done looking over these, uh, go ahead and click yes dash continue. Congratulations, you've registered your computer. Restart your computer and you'll be ready to use the wireless at any of the university libraries and all over campus. If you experience any difficulties along the way, ask for help from the nearest librarian.